Hello friends, welcome back to AngularJS tutorial series part 8 and in this video we will learn about two-way data binding. Data binding is an automatic synchronization of data between view and model. In Angular there are two ways to implement data binding. The first one is the one-way data binding and second one is the two-way data binding. Two-way data binding is the default behavior of AngularJS to implement data binding. In upcoming videos, I will explain how to implement one-way data binding in AngularJS. But for this demo, we will understand the default behavior and that is two-way data binding. Two-way data binding in AngularJS is an approach to synchronize the data between model and view. What it means? Suppose there is any change happens in the model, then the view will update it. And if there is any change on the view, the model will update automatically. You can use this approach to build high performance application with less efforts. To do the same binding in jQuery, you need to write a logic in both of the layer, means on model as well as on view. But in Angular, you just need to use ng model directive to implement two-way data binding. Rest will be handled by Angular itself. So let's understand two-way data binding with a very basic example. So switch to your editor and for this demo, I have already set up a basic folder structure. So in my part 8 folder, I already have index.html in which I have Angular script and the app.js script in which I will create my module. So moving to the app.js file here I have already created a module main app and a controller user controller. We have already discussed about how to create controller and how to create module in the previous video. If you didn't cover it yet you can move to my previous video to look how to create controllers and module. But for this video I assume you have already covered that. So suppose on this controller I am creating a scope property name and giving it a value John. And now I want to bind this property on my view. So you just need to bind it with the help of data binding expression. I have already included user controller with the help of ng controller directive. You just need to write username and do the binding with the help of data binding expression. So the name property you just need to bind here. Now check the output of this program. You can check the value of model is automatically updated here. Now to make it two way binding. I want to update the value from view so the value should update in the model. So to do that I need to create a text box so I said enter name and create one simple text box. Now you need to create an ng model directive to have a synchronization between your model and view and the property that you have created on this scope object you have to mention this property name here. So automatically whatever the value you have on this name property will be visible on this text box. So now move to your browser and check. See initially the value is John because it's fetching from this scope property. So now suppose you write anything on this text box that value will hold on this ng model property and it is automatically linked to this name property. So it will update in the controller and then it will reflect it back at this line where you have data binding expression. So now let's check it. Suppose I am writing it here, Peter. Now you can check the changes. Automatically whatever you are writing here, it is reflecting back here. So this is the example of two-way data binding. Now one thing you need to remember here, suppose I also want to input the age. So I said enter age. And in place of name, I said ng model age. Now, when you refresh the browser, you can check here. If you write anything, there is no change in the binding expression because I have bounded the name property. To bind this age property, you just need to write age here. Suppose I am writing 20, so automatically the 20 value will be updated here. But remember the age property I didn't bind on this scope object. So remember in Angular if you bind any property on this ng model directive so automatically it created scope for that property. If you create dollar scope dot age it sets the initial value for age property. So now default value will be 20 later on you can change this. 
So this was a very basic example to make you clear about two way data binding in angular js hope you like this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then take care bye bye